Hi, I'm Ann Bible. Welcome back to Architecture Connections. Now, earlier today at Storytime, we read Roberto, the insect architect, and talked about star architects. Now, when we open the cover, the first thing we see is this. Ever since he was a wee mite, termite that is, Roberto wanted to be an architect. He longed to follow in the footsteps of such architectural greats as Hank Floyd Might. Now, you know what? Hank Floyd Might is a bug version of America's greatest architect, Frank Lloyd Wright. Here's a picture of him when he was a boy. It's an old photo because Wright was born about 150 years ago. And you know what's incredible? When he was a newborn, his mom put pictures of buildings on the walls of his room to inspire him. She was sure he was going to be the best architect ever. Sometimes moms just know these things. Frank Lloyd Wright was a pioneer of new building types, especially for the United States. He designed houses with deep connections to nature and strived to make them affordable. He also created a museum in New York inspired by a snail shell. There's a version of it in Roberto, the insect architect, with Hank Floyd Might. Wright liked to go epic. One of his ideas was for a mile-high skyscraper with parking for a hundred helicopters. See how it's sticking above the clouds? How do you think it would feel to live in a mile-high building? The world wasn't always ready for Wright's ideas and the project was never built. It would be taller than any building today. Frank Lloyd Wright's creativity continues to inspire people. The Courier's the only museum in the world to own two Wright houses. With a reservation, you'll be able to visit them if you're seven or older and will have materials for all ages at the museum about his architecture. We'll also be doing more Architecture Connections posts with projects you can do from home. We'd love to see your work. Thanks for joining me.